no, I'm not going to say it, and I don't have to explain anymore. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today on Vlog 40, I talk about a bit of stuff and show a few pickups, and I show special pickups. Anyways, let's fucking get into it. Alright, first up, Dumb and Dumber 2. Yeah, I seen the trailer last night, and I was laughing my ass off. And, um, I might, um, bootleg it or wait until it comes out on DVD because I don't want to support the movie theaters anymore. Well, not after, I think it was Expendables 3, I'm sorry, because my mind is somewhere else right now, but. Anyways, um, I have mixed opinions on Dumb and Dumber 2. Also, um, here's how it could turn out. Okay, it could turn out that the movie might suck because they show the best bits in the trailer. Or it might be okay. Or, hell, it might surprise us and be actually a good sequel. And if not, then it was just a waste of time and money and effort put into it. Because usually when you have a sequel, like, let's see. When, when was the... Um, the first Dumb and Dumber released. Well, whatever. Let's just say 20-something years later. Yeah, now, now you put out the sequel? Okay. But it might take us for fucking surprise, and it might be an actual good movie. Okay. Next thing is... Um, Something was telling me not to get The Son of Batman, and I'm glad I listened to my instincts, because I've seen movie reviews for it, and most people were saying that it's okay, and I've seen rants for it, and most of the people said that the film sucks ass, so yeah. So it's either both, it's okay and it sucks ass. So yeah, I guess that's what was stopping me from getting The Son of Batman. Another thing is, uh, Sleeping Beauty comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. I don't know when, but I'm just hoping that, um, I get it. Yeah, because it's been a long time since I ever watched Sleeping Beauty, and thus the fact that about a month ago, I seen Maleficent, which I really fucking enjoyed. And, um, what I could say is, um, I need to re-watch Sleeping Beauty and review the damn thing. Another thing is, when I lost all hope in, uh, gaming, well, there's a new Aliens game coming out. And it's com coming out in October 7th. And I'm gonna go into that with low expectations. Uh, this time around, I... Probably might red box it just so that I won't get into buying a game that might suck. So yeah, I'll probably red box it. Probably get one of those prepaid cards and probably fucking red box it. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, another thing is, I'm probably never gonna make the Derek Yasha movie because I can't afford a damn camera. And I can't afford anything at this time. Really, I can't. Um, another thing is... Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. Because I got a lot on my mind. I guess probably that's it. The, that's probably it, guys. So, yeah. Um, let's get into the pickups and the special pickups. Alright, so first up first, I couldn't find this movie anywhere, but I found it at Walmart, along with the other movie that I'm about to show. Second, but first up is Three Men and a Baby. Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. I can't believe I found this shit for five dollars. And this is one of Matt's favorite comedies. And I remember watching this a few times on the TBS Super Tape. Ugh. TBS Superstation when I was a kid. Um, basically, when I when I had the summer off from homeschool, yeah, I would watch this all the time. And this movie is funny as hell, knockout blast. 
and I really enjoy this, and this is better than half of the shit that comes out today, and let me just remind you something, they might come out with a fucking remake to, to this, yeah, to, to this uh, excellent film, which really fucking sucks, they should not remake this film, this is a classic. Yeah, but I'm glad I picked it up. Rare as fuck. Okay, another one I picked up is... I've been looking for this for a long time. Uh, Every Witch Way But Loose. With uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Because I'm really into Clint Eastwood now. I just have to pick up every Clint Eastwood movie I could find. So, yeah. Um, I made a mistake and I watched the second one first. But that's okay, because... How was I supposed to know that there was a first movie? It's just weird. The name titles of these are just weird. But anyways, I'm going to go into this with low expectations. And I'm not going to expect much from this movie, but some um, good laughs and things like that. Okay, so the third pickup is, and I can't fucking believe that I found this shit. Death Wish 2, yeah, uh, this is a rare as fuck movie, I tried to find this at Movie Stop, they didn't have it, and yesterday I found this at FYE for $7, and yeah, it's a bit of a hell, uh, $7 that I spent on this movie, and I'm gonna go into this with low expectations, but I gotta watch the first one. And then this, and then the third one, which I'll show next, but, yeah. I'm just happy I found this. And these are really good movies as well, too. Better than half of the shit that comes out today. Okay, and I got Death Wish 3. Hell, too, is the fucking yeah, dog. So let me just show you. Yes, it is Death Wish 3, even though the sticker is covering the 3. Yeah, and, um, partially, this is the last good, uh, Death Wish movie in the series. Yeah, but I'll give that a look. Another movie I got, this is, uh, one of Mike's favorite, uh, movies. And that, of course, is Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Also, this is one of my favorites, too. One of my childhood favorites. And I remember watching this a lot as a kid, so... Yeah, this is really fucking good that I got this. Okay. And, of course, uh, the the last pickup uh, of not the special pickups, but it is Braveheart. Yeah, I'm going to go into this thing with low expectations. And basically, i seen... Um, Parodies making fun of this movie. I think it was um, I'm trying to think of the name of that movie, but it had Leslie Nielsen in it. Yeah um, Another movie that made fun of this was something else and something else and This movie would be talked about a lot. So yeah, this movie does get talked about a lot. So I'm not expecting much and that's the fact that it's Mel Gibson. Um, I'm just gonna go into that shit with low expectation. Okay, and then the special pickups. Boop, ba -boop, boop, boop. Full moon movies. Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. Some of them is good, some of them is bad. But let's fucking get into it, alright? So first off, the Trancers series. Uh... Three DVD set, and it comes with Trancers 1 and Trancers 2 and Trancers 3. So, fuck yeah. Um, what I could say is, these are really good movies. Even the third one. I heard some bad stuff about the fourth one and the fifth one, but hey. Um, at least I got the first good three. Yeah. Trancers one, even though I hate that cover, cause it, 
it's not what it is in the movie. He's not really wearing that um, armor. I mean, it doesn't really have that gun in the movie except for one scene. Uh, Trancers 2 and Trancers 3. Damn, I can't speak straight. Okay. And Trancers 3. Death lives. Death. However you say his name. Yeah. Um, anyways, in the future, or whenever I'm going to review this, I'll review this. Okay. Okay, next up is, and I only got this for Intruder. And that, of course, is uh, Slasher Fest. And it comes with Bled, Intruder, and Cutthroat. Which, the other two movies fucking suck. And Intruder is only the good one. Yeah, so one day down the road, if I find Intruder by itself or not this collection, yeah, I'll get it and then sell this collection or give it to somebody. Okay, so next up is, of course, uh, Devil Dolls. And that has the Monarch Toys, which I already have. Doll Grave, which was an okay movie, and Ragdoll, which I really fucking enjoyed. Yeah. So I'll just show you now. Demonic Toys. Yeah, I love Demonic Toys, but I already have it. I don't have to explain nothing more about that. Um, Doll Graveyard. And Ragdoll. Yeah, the Ragdoll is a really good movie. I like that movie. Because it has my peeps in it. Yeah, so next up is, of course, Murder Machines 3 DVD set. And that, of course, has Murder Cycle, Crash and Burn, which Crash and Burn is really good, and Robot Wars, which I found to be okay, so... Okay, um, I kind of liked it mo Murder Cycle a little bit because it was a cheese ball fest and Crash and Burn I really like and Robot Wars was nothing more but just talking and a few parts with robots. Okay, and then um, I picked up this set which I'm okay with. Yeah, um, it had decent films. They were okay. They were not that great. And, of course, it has uh, The Dead Hate the Living, uh, The Dead Want Women, and Prison of the Dead, which is not really about a prison. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit, and that's misleading, and it's a lie. Um, anyways, um, The Dead Hate the Living could have had a lot of potential. But it's just one of those B-movies where you just put it in on a rainy day or a shit day that you had and basically you just want to laugh because how stupid and fucking dumb it is. And then of course, Zombie Want Women, or The Dead Want Women, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that was kind of a mixture of a horror movie and a softcore porno. And then this movie, of course, this was fucking terrible, but I could laugh at this shit all day of how bad it is. Okay, and then the last one is Petrified. Comedy gold, really. I mean, what more can I fucking say? This is comedy gold right here. But, um, if I have to say, um, I really like, um, Buzz. Yeah, Buzz was the only thing going for this movie. But yet, um, it's sort of like a black comedy, I guess. To me, to me anyway. But anyways, guys, I am out. Peace.